Hey guys, Desolate and Magic here with an update because you knew I couldn't leave this hanging. By the way, this whole video is going to be mega sarcastic because this turned out exactly precisely how I thought it would. So Rudy's absurd reply, in case you didn't see it, was if you would have asked me privately, let me just stop right there. How about that? I did. I asked him on his own video. I sent him either a, a Twitter DM or a tweet or like a YouTube message or all three. I, I don't remember, but I contacted him, okay, in private, as he put. I did. He ignored it. Which, of course, I interpreted a very particular way. So anyway, he says, if you would have asked me privately, I would have told you the story. I think you would really like it. You know, I think I wouldn't, actually. This was closely looked into and traced, then closed out eight days ago. I have absolutely no idea what that sentence means. At all. Did wizards investigate him? Did other people inquire into what it was? What was going on? I, I honestly don't know what one single part of that means at all anyway he says please keep the video up even if you find out the story which by the way i did controversy breeds growth yeah no it doesn't not the right type of growth oh my god if my phone rings one more time i'm gonna send it out the damn patio door so his comment meant nothing explained nothing had no answers i i don't even know why he bothered it makes no sense to me whatsoever like a correct comment would have been I got them direct from Wizards because they like to promote my channel. The end. Which, by the way, that isn't a thing. They've never done that. They never will do that. They uh, just know. Oh, by the way, I'm going to address some of the idiotic questions and comments that were left on that last video by incredibly stupid people. But first, the truth comes out. So according to Rudy, and he didn't tell me this. This was just somewhat general knowledge-ish, sort of, not really. So it turns out the actual truth is uh, pretty darn close to what I said it was. You know, I said it's either option one, two, three, or four if you're an idiot. Uh, it's basically two. So he responded to MTG Lion asking the exact same question that I did in the exact same video in the exact same comment section. So he just, he just didn't feel like answering me for some reason. Or my DMs or tweets or messages. Um, he says he was fortunate enough that he had a... Oh God, nice phrasing. Um... He had a store send him two pre-AR boxes. I have absolutely no idea what that means. And then a longtime fan sent me one case. There you go. It's solved, everybody. We can go home. We can put down the uh, pitchforks and torches and go home. It's all, it's all explained. Except where the hell did those people get them? I mean, the, he's just passing the buck to the next person and acting like he didn't do anything. He did something, okay? That's the equivalent to, oh, no, I'm just holding these illegal drugs for my friend. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not on me. Oh, these aren't mine. Somebody just sent them to me. Oh, th these are stolen. This is stolen property that I'm trying to sell at the pawn shop. But um, it's cool because I didn't personally steal it. Yes, I am 100% well aware that they were stolen. Um, but I'm not the one who stole them. So it's all cool, right? Everybody's, I didn't do anything shady, right? Not quite exactly equivalent, but you get my point. So I'm going to assume he meant two pre-release Aether Revolt kits. And then a, quote, longtime fan sent me one case. Let me reiterate for what I swear to God is the last time I am going to say this. Otherwise, I'm just going to delete every single comment saying otherwise. Nobody in the United States gets boxes that early. Period. Or semicolon. The only reason they would get them is for prize support for the pre-releases. So 100% of boxes floating around one week or longer before the pre-release are for use in the pre-release. They are strictly for the pre-release only. Nobody, no store, no judge, no famous person, no celebrity, no channel, nobody gets product earlier than that unless it is for the pre-release. The end. So for all the people leaving comments... Maybe they shipped them early. Maybe his distributor sent them early. Maybe Wizard sent him a special shipment. No, just no, that doesn't happen. That isn't what happened. That doesn't happen. You know, actually, one of the top comments on my last video was, do you have 100% hard evidence? Because you're just speculating otherwise, and about 100 other people wrote something similar. My hard evidence is the fact that nobody in America gets boxes that early unless they're strictly for giveaways at the pre-release event. That is a fact. I believe in the last video I called it a law of physics. So, just in case you aren't quite getting it, no human being 
other than, I guess, distributors, obviously, get product that early. No exceptions. That's my hard evidence. I mean, what, what more do you want for evidence? That's how the WPN system works. I'm not stupid. Other people are like, what if he contacted Wizards and got a few boxes early? No, he didn't. First of all, he said he didn't. And secondly, nobody has ever had that happen ever. So to resume this logical flow and to put the pieces of the puzzle together, where the hell did the people who sent him the case get it from? Well, there is a 100% chance, not a 99% chance, there is a 100% chance that those were supposed to be the prize support for some LGS somewhere. Now, could it have been a completely fake LGS that somebody else has made up and they're just collecting WPN allocations and then they thought it would be cool to send one to Rudy? Absolutely. So whether it's somebody lying to wizards and collecting WPN stuff that they're not really supposed to use and are violating a legal contract with them, or it's an actual store that does exist and they're still sending half the prize support to Rudy for God knows what reason. I would assume considering he like sweeps entire old inventories out of stores, like he could spend, you know, a couple thousand dollars on the entire section of Force of Will at a store that somebody would think it would be nice to send him, you know, a case ahead of time. Unfortunately, that case was meant to go to the, you know, the people actually playing the game, which by the way, uh, Rudy doesn't. Just to clear that up, a couple people were asking about that. Yeah, as they were saying, what if Rudy went to like six pre-releases and won all of them? Well, he didn't because he doesn't play. Also, that's impossible. Also, if I'm not mistaken, they were sealed. So Rudy knows when stuff comes out. He knows the launch dates. He knows when he's getting stuff in. Oh, and by the way, let's clear something else up. He does sell singles. He does open a pretty damn high volume of every single set when it comes out, or I should say two days before it comes out. Or if he's with my crap distributor, it's one day before it comes out, but different story. Now, there's one tiny little detail that I'm not clear on. Um, let's say that um, we'll use the Prague example. This is only half of what happened in Prague, but um, you're going to hold a big event, a big pre-release event, and then your place burns down. But somehow the, the prize support boxes for Aether Revolt are untouched by the flames. Now what do you do? You literally cannot run the event. Uh, what do you do? I have no idea. I am not in the WPN program. Uh, I would assume one, send it back to Wizards, two, use it as prize support for FNM, or three, make up something that sounds kind of fair. I, that's kind of the rumors I've heard from uh, LGS owners that actually are in the WPN program. I happen to know that's how they handle FNM promos. Um, I think the official word last I heard, which this is like three years out of date, is if you have to cancel FNM because of weather or just whatever, anything, you have to give out those promo cards for free. You cannot then keep them and sell them. You have to give them out in whatever the, the, the closest manner is that you can, and that would be another FNM. So if you have promo fiery tempers, you got four of them left over because your shop closed because of a blizzard, you have to give them out at another event. That's, I believe that's what the WPN says. So if somebody, for some reason, had to cancel their pre-release or significantly over-ordered, I don't think send the case of boosters to Rudy before the pre-release even occurs is real high on that list or on it at all. In fact, it's probably on the things you don't do list. So... Rudy knows when these come out, okay? He knows what the rules are. He knows what the WPN system is. He's allegedly in it somehow. God knows what that story even is. He knows that if he magically gets a sealed case of Aether Revolt in the mail on, like, the Thursday before the pre-release, that logically he isn't supposed to have that. It doesn't matter if somebody out of the goodness of their heart and just to be nice decided to break the WPN rules. He knows what they are. It's equivalent to accepting stolen items. I mean, it's plain and simple. Now, one of the questions that kept coming up in my comment section was, why the hell would he then film it and upload it on the Friday of the pre-release? And who knows? He might have filmed it on Thursday. Who knows? I mean, wouldn't he get caught? Yes. I mean, obviously. I do, well, first of all, Wizards doesn't give a crap. They act like they're all tough and they're going to enforce everything. And, and, oh, if they think your LGS is up to something, they will uh, demand that you turn in the physical slips with the player's signatures on them to prove that you scored the entire uh, event. But in reality, they never do that. They never check up on anything because that would cost money and who cares? I mean, they don't even fight corruption at the pro level. So why would they care about the LGS level? These people are buying, buying product and the they, you know Wizards makes money off it. What, what do they actually really care? They don't care about the integrity of their game whatsoever. But as to the why would Rudy possibly you know do that when he could lose his distributorship with all five distributors that he uses, 
Um, probably because it got 73,113 views. Box openings don't get that kind of views. Now, um, that is worth in YouTube terms. I mean, give or take 130 to $140 in ad revenues just from that one video. Fact number two, Rudy likes money. If there is an opportunity to make money, he will do it. Like, that's not even just Rudy. That's what people do. Hey, if Jeremy drove all the way to my city, guess what? We're making a collab, okay? Money. I like money. Let's take the opportunity to make money. I don't like missing making money. So he thought, ha, 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 I'm going to be one of the first people on all of YouTube to do box opening. Cool, I'm going to get so many views. And yeah, he did. And he just ignored all the comments like mine asking, where the hell did you get these? Except for MTG Lions and his answer was a load of crap that just meant to deflect the blame away from him. But like I said, I just explained it. He's just as shady as if he stole them himself from a from an LGS or had a fake LGS. Just because somebody else did it and mailed it to him doesn't change a damn thing. Now, some people might not still understand the, the intricacies of what I'm getting at and the repercussions of that kind of stuff, so let me put up an analogy. Somebody sends me a Nintendo Switch in the mail a month ago, we'll say. I don't know who it was, but somebody sent me a Switch. Well, lucky me, I didn't have to go steal one out of some Japanese warehouse. Now, since I didn't personally steal it, let's make a video tearing it apart because I'd make, you know, 5 million views. Easy, maybe 10 million. Actually, boy, a Nintendo Switch leak with the physical product in front of me running? Probably 100 million views. Oh, but I'm, I'm in the clear. Nintendo can't sue me or anything, and I'm, I'm completely absolved of any mal doings or whatever. I'm, I'm completely, completely free and clear because somebody just shipped it to me, and, you know, what am I going to do? What am I going to do is realize that you can't just do that, okay? Nobody's supposed to have a Switch yet, and I damn well know it. So if I take that thing out and put it on the camera, I deserve 100% of the consequences that I would get. And let me just tell you, Nintendo is not Hasbro. Nintendo would, like, send their stealth black choppers to, like, break through. I'll just pretend I have a skylight at my apartment. <laughs> I don't. And then they would kidnap me and interrogate me as to where I got it and then destroy it and then seize my computer and delete my YouTube channel. Okay, that's realistically what Nintendo would do in that situation. Wizard sees somebody opening multiple full boxes that they know damn well, 100% chance, were part of the WPN prize program. Okay, that's not up for debate. They sit on their butts and continue to ignore them and do nothing because, oh no, they're so short-staffed and that would cost money and effort. For God's sake, Wizards, even I have his address. My God, it would take you five seconds to investigate him and then tell everybody to never ship to him again, ever again. That big of a WPN violation and then uploading it to YouTube flagrantly ignoring any kind of policies is just a slap in the face to their brand. He deserves to never touch another Magic product as long as he lives after doing that. It's so shady. But there are still some of you out there where, even if it was a Nintendo Switch, would be like, yeah, go that person. I hate Nintendo. Stick it to the man. That was kind of funny. I mean, yeah, what he did was clearly knowingly wrong. He did it on purpose. Everybody knows damn well what was going on. Yeah, it's shady, but it doesn't affect you, so you don't care. Yeah, there's some people in my comment section with absolutely no morals whatsoever. I mean, you're just terrible people, and when somebody like commits a crime, good. Society and the cops are evil. There's no getting through to people like that, and honestly, if your opinion is like, yeah, he screwed up and it's not that big of a deal, okay, I can understand that. You don't sell fifty dollars to $100,000 worth of cards, you don't sell singles, you don't compete in the same market, you don't run an LGS, so of course you're going to differ in my opinion, because I'm closer to it. But at least you can appreciate the fact that I'm pretty pissed off over it, anybody who runs a store is pissed off over it, and like, my LGS, where they give out the entire prize support plus a little bit above, and you can't pick it up until their main stock gets in, um, they'd be a little bit pissed that some store somewhere decided, haha, screw it, we don't need this entire case of booster boxes. Screw our customers, screw everybody who shows up to the pre-release, we're gonna send it to Rudy. I mean, how the hell can you not have a slight problem with that? Are you kidding me? Oh, and then there's the knuckle-dragging apes who are like, I like Rudy better, me no like Des, Des wrong. Screw logic. Whatever, you can be as stupid as you want on the internet, and trust me, people take advantage of that policy. I actually have a name for people like that. Um, you guys will get a kick out of this. When somebody knows that somebody massively screwed up, like, they're, they're, they're terrible. Some part of their life is pretty crooked and messed up. 
or something they did is, you know, pretty bad, but they still like him because they like a certain other aspect of them. And it's kind of like splitting the person in two and then just ignoring the other part, even though it's all one person. Uh, there's actually two names, either Hillary voters or Michael Jackson fans. Yeah, you're welcome for that reference. Actually, I, I don't think there's somebody on planet Earth who is not like, yeah, MJ was messed up at this point. <laughs> But for a while there, people were like, okay, so we molested some kids, but I really like his music, so I'm going to keep pretending like he, like there's nothing wrong with him because that makes me feel better inside. Like that's, That might even be like a mental illness at that point. Like, what the hell, people? If you still think Rudy did nothing wrong, get your head checked out for your own sake. So unless Rudy comes out and says that everything he said so far was BS, um, he didn't anonymously receive effectively stolen things in the mail and then open them on camera to make money. Instead, he... um incredibly quickly took a private jet to Ecuador who gets actually their products way ahead of time because if they miss the release date that would be bad and international shipping is well specifically customs is really really unreliable on time so they actually do get their stuff ahead of time and then he flew his private jet back just to make a YouTube video just for you wasn't that sweet of him unfortunately that isn't what he said and I took everything he did say and put it together into the puzzle and I believe we have a complete puzzle at this point we have all the information case closed bang the gavel so for anybody who still disagrees with me, um, feel free to leave a thumbs down. It literally helps me make more money and drives more people to my channel and elevates my videos in the search. Little uh, more you know, the more you grow segment for you there. Oh, and have fun with your Michael Jackson music. I'll see you guys next video.